Howdy, this is Self-Reliance Essentials. Jared talking to you and uh, just wanted to offer some lessons learned from this 2007 Subaru Outback restoration that I've been working on. Restoration is limited to the, dry, the running gear because it was all really rusty and gross and um, the wheel bearings were totally shot so I had to beat everything apart and replace a lot of stuff. So, in the process of beating things apart, I ruined the dust shields for the brakes, so I had to buy new ones of those. I powder coated them, and then I restored um, a lot of these parts. So this light gray, the caliper holder, the knuckle, and the sway bar, I actually powder coated the sway bar, and then I bought new um, tie rods, new sway bar end links, and a new Mevotech control, uh, front control arm. And of course the Timken bearings and then cinch, centroid rotors and brake pads, I think. And then in the back, I, I cerakoted all my, or KG coated all my hardware. In the back I did the knuckle and then the body uh, mounts um, and the control arms. And then I also restored all the hardware as much as I could. And... Um, then I got some Megan Racing front lateral links and Godspeed Project rear lateral links and new axles from Parts Geek, which were cheaper than almost almost the same money as rebooting um, an original axle. And I'm saving the original axles, and I got some new boots so I can fix those later if I have a problem with the CV joints and axles. Um... The rear caliper wasn't in as ugly a shape. It must have some kind of coating on it to keep it from rusting. This car came from Massachusetts, so that's part of the issue that caused it to rust so bad. Um, and you can see that the exhaust system is really gross, the DOS pipes at least, and then the mufflers are in decent shape. I think I might switch over to a larger single pipe um, your exhaust system do like a a total replacement because all this pipe is rusty as heck and i've heard you can get about 15 more horsepower and a couple miles per gallon if you go to a freer flowing exhaust so then for the inside uh mounts for the rattle ladder links i made i bought some uh metric bolts a 12, 12 millimeter bolt i think and then uh, i made some micarta bushings because there's a horizontal slot where that bolt can ride in and out. Normally it uses a cam bolt. And that thing was so rusted I could not remove it. So I had to cut that out with a sawzall from the inside. So I had the sawzall blade going in here cutting. I cut that whole bushing out of the original one with the, when the arm was stuck in it. So that was a pain in the butt. I also um, had to replace this drive uh, differential seal before I put the new axle in because it was torn. And I 3D printed a little seal driver. I'll show you the seal driver I printed. So it's real simple. It's like an inch and a half hex uh, pattern on the outside. And then I just made a little 3D printed part so I could stick on the end of a socket and drive the seal in. And it worked pretty well, but uh, I didn't lube the seal before I put it in, so it tore off part of the rubber. So hopefully it'll work. And I actually have an extra one. They're eight bucks a piece. It was a really hard to get it out with the seal puller. It was stuck in there real good. Um, also, Cerakoted my wheels with some old Cerakote, old bronze, um, burnt bronze that was in the cupboard for a long time. And I, I think it went bad. So that's why it has such a matte finish and you can see my fingernail making marks on it. So, Cerakote definitely has a shelf life, and this is just gonna tide me over for a while in terms of having some, the clear coat was all worn off of this wheel, so that's why I redid them, and this was a while back. I also um, coated the rear sway bar um, brackets, and I'm not gonna put the rear sway bar on just yet because I'm gonna wait until I get the new exhaust in, I think, to do that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna coat the the lug nuts 
because they're the chrome's coming off of them too and i don't want to spend money on more so i'm gonna kg coat the lug nuts here in a minute and then i'll put it back together so then the longer term project is to fix the paint job because it's clear coats coming off this car was two thousand dollars it's a 2007 and it's got eighty-five thousand miles on it and it has some doggy damage some kind of crackhead pet owner left their dog in this car and so you got a bunch of claw prints and a bunch of nasty white hairs everywhere but it doesn't smell bad and overall the interior is in okay shape so once I replace these door panels then it'll be a fairly pristine car it's just dirty as all get out right now so and then, so the new exhaust and the new, uh, probably do some new struts. And the order of operations for putting things back together is really important. I learned some lessons. So if you have any questions about that, I can probably talk you through a couple things. All right. Bye.